Okay, Glenn, this is your Longhorn Superior N6. Many like it, but this one is yours. Just going to get a uh, snag a shot of the serial number there before we get started. Something I meant to do in the last video, but I keep forgetting. Kind of a new thing I've been doing, trying to get these uh, serial numbers in there. So, let me set this guy down. And we will get on with the show here. All right, there we go. We got the uh, Longhorn hooked up. Just going to be a quick test on it, guys. Make sure our talkback echo works. Do a little quick uh, power output test and get this radio shipped out to the customer. Audio. On. So there's our echo working wonderfully. Talk back working. Uh, let's just do our RF power straight up and down for right now. See what it draws. 14.9 audio. 48 amps, 47 amps. Again, if we turn that all the way up, uh, probably going to get a little bit more. Uh, current draw out of it, but just for the sake of testing the radio, there's no need to do all that. 1,000 watt slug. We're going to be looking at the bottom scale. This is average power first. And we're at about 100 watt day key. Audio, audio, audio. 3, 350 average. Kind of what we've come to expect out of these somewhere in that ballpark. PEP, audio, 1, 2, 3, audio, 1, 2, 3, audio, 1, 2, 3, audio. 800 on the dot. So sideband, you know, it's going to be a little bit less. Let's check it out. PEP on sideband. There's our uh, upper sideband. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio 700 PEP. And lower sideband. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio. If you guys want to see what it's drawing current-wise, Hello, check, 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 check. I mean, it gets up there current wise. So on sideband, I'd probably back it down some. Let's see. Let's go down to nine o'clock, see what it draws. Hey, check, 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 check. A little bit less. I mean, you can run it all the way down on sideband if you really wanted to. Check, 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 check. There you go. That's more, that's more reasonable. Drawing, you know, 50 amps or so, maybe 60 when we turn it all the way down. Don't recommend running it wide open. Run it somewhere between here on sideband. And probably, you know, right in there somewhere. That'd be my two cents on it. Um, AM, that's a 100 watt carrier. That's plenty. If you want to give it a little more headroom, you know, back it down right here. But a uh, good running radio. This is about what we expect out of them. The last one I did a video on was. Uh, it's a little bit stronger, but that's the first one I've ever seen that did those kind of numbers. It was doing uh, 800 SSB and, and 850 uh, PEP on AM. So you don't get one that does that much. Uh, that's that's kind of a uh, oddball, an outlier, I guess you'd say. This is about what you can expect out of one of these. Good running radios. Sold a pile of them. I've got many customers that have bought multiples of these. Um, so with that being said, hope everybody enjoys the video. Questions, comments, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. More customer test videos to come. We've got them piled up to the ceiling over here. Not literally, but we do have a big stack we got to get to. Everybody have a good day. Rooster in Tennessee, roostercb.com. See you, bye.